Hello there, in this video I'm going to be showing you a quick way to animate between two different shapes. As you can see in this uh, demo, as I hover over the card, the direction of the arrow changes and it's animating quite smoothly as well. Now I'm using a transition animation and clip bar. Now there is another video that I've done previously uh, that went into a bit more detail about clip bar and, and trans transition animation. So you can watch that too. Now I'm creating the shape using a site called bennettfeely.com clippy. Now uh, from here you can create uh, your custom shapes and then you can animate between them. Now the good thing is it gives you the clip path uh, code already here. So if you like these type of uh, videos uh, please subscribe to my channel and let's get started. I'm in VS Code and I've already got a folder set up. Um, so I'm going to create an index.html. Within the index.html, I'm going to create some uh, boilerplate markup. Now in the body, I'm going to create a div with class um, card. And that's going to have a, a child element, it's a span. And that's going to have a class of shape. So that's going to be a markup. Within the span, I'm just going to write shape. Okay, then I'm going to do the styling. So in the head, I'm going to create a style tag. And before I continue, I'm going to paste some start bars, starter styles in there. Okay, so basically, I'm going to reset everything to padding, margin, zero, and box sizing. So we don't get any layout issues and also setting the body to flex and centering everything and giving a height of 100 view height and width of 60 view height. So before I continue, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to paste in what we're going to be styling. So, uh, so we, we're going to start, so we, this is just a guide on what we're going to be styling. So we're going to have uh, some styles for the base card and then we're going to uh, style the, the span uh, with the shape clip bar. It, then I'm going to have a hover to um, activate the animation. So on hover, we're going to we're going to uh, set it a different uh, clip path. So remember, uh, transition animation uh, works uh, with uh, it uh, can only be activated by it on hover or any other sort of click event. Okay, now we're going to add the clip path. So as you recall from my other previous video, uh, you, you can uh, specify a clip path for an element by saying clip path. And you get a choice to do different shapes, circle, clips, uh, polygon. And we're going to use polygon because polygon allows you to do a lot of uh, custom shapes. So. Um, now there, there is a site where you can go and get uh, custom shapes. Okay, so if I, you go to Google and just type in clip path generator and you get this uh, site that comes up first, uh, bennettfeely.com clippy. So if you click on that, so in, as you can see here, uh, you've got these, um, uh, this triangle uh, shape inside this box. Okay, so what you can do is on the right hand side you get all these custom shapes so if you click on a different one it shows you a different shape now these are all clip paths uh you know with their demo they've got an image in, inside there and it hides all the other parts that are not uh, part of the clip path okay so the good thing about this site is that it generates the code here okay as you can see at the bottom so as I click through, these are, there are different shapes. So what, for this, what we're going to be using is the left arrow and the right arrow. Now, uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, morphing one shape to the other. And for morphing, you have to always ensure that you have the correct num the same number of points. So as you can see here, if you uh, count the circles, okay, it should 
equal with the uh, the one that you're animating to. Okay, so we're going to animate from uh, a left arrow to a right arrow. So uh, if I click on the left arrow, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven points. Okay, and if I click on the right arrow, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so it's got equal number of points. Okay, so so you can animate between these two and it will morph between them. Okay, so there are some shapes with a more than a seven. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if you want to shape uh, 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 this shape with something else, you have to select something with ten uh, points. Now, now you can go to custom polygon and then just add shapes like this. And you need to click on the first one to uh, to uh, to confirm that you want to use the one that you selected. Okay, then you can pull these. Uh, uh, points uh, to the desired shape, then you can copy uh, the clip paths from here. Okay, so it's a bit tricky to do, uh, as you can see here. Uh, so we, we're going to be just uh, doing uh, the arrow for this the demo. Okay, so uh, so these two arrows have the same points. So so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the first one again, okay, and I'm just going to copy the code. If you go down. Right at the bottom, it's got the clip pass polygon code with all these uh, numbers there. So it's basically the coordinates for this arrow. So I'm just going to copy this and then go to my code and I'm just going to just going to paste it in there. Let's delete what I had before. Okay. So now if I go to, as you can see, I've got the clip path. And it's uh, uh, remember it was it was a square before. Now it's uh, it, uh, it only shows a clip path so of the arrow. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to animate. We're, on hover, we're going to have a right hand side uh, arrow. So if I go back again, go to the clippy site. Now I'm going to click on the right arrow. I'm going to copy the code for the right arrow. Okay, and I'm going to paste it in the hover state, so here. Okay. So if I go back and if I hover over, it changes, but it's not animating. Okay. So so when it's not hovered, it's a left uh, arrow. When you hover it, it's a right arrow. Now we need to animate this. So simple way to animate is uh, you do transition and we're going to say three seconds and we're going to say click path so we're going to animate the click path and, and then easy okay so now but as you can see it's slowly changing to a different the direction. So I can speed that up. 0 0.5 seconds. There you go. So that's how you animate a clip path. So remember, you can uh, select these from the clippy site. Uh, you can, you know, you got to be careful which shapes you choose. Uh, so you have the starting shape and then you have the ending shape and you need to make sure it's got the same number of points both of them. In our case we have seven points. So to recap what I've done, I've just added uh, the starting state of the clip path in the shape uh, element. Then when you hover over it, I have the ending uh, shape. Okay, so and uh, to animate it, I add in uh, the transition property and you give it a, the duration. So I've given it 0 0.5 seconds. And I'm saying what to animate. It's a clip path 
and it's got an ease in smoothing uh, function as well. Okay, so that's how you animate shapes uh, uh, using clip path. So I hope you liked this uh, video and uh, please subscribe to my channel and see you in the next one.